I just want to congratulate my friend Cece on being the first Epic Tale. She actually came to me about a week or two weeks ago and she told me that she wanted to do this and I actually didn't think it was going to happen but she really did do it and it's an amazing job. Our first Fire Tales that owns Epic Weapon and Hasu revealed. And here it is. It's actually her. She did it. She, uh, TQ named it herself. That uh, Named uh, her uh, as the first uh, Teo Epic and Hasu plus 12. So that's actually pretty awesome. Um, this is actually going to go in like history like in 5-4 years from now people are going to be like she's the one who, who was the first one to make an epic and is going to go and conquer a lot of history uh, so it's an awesome awesome job Cece and I just want to congratulate you and you actually deserve it so great job Goliath Conquer Gaming that auto thing though <laughs> Hey Goliath fans, how you guys doing? I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Uh, I just want to thank CC for letting me log her account. That's the account that I just showed you guys. That's the first day on Conquer Online to get the epic and the plus 12 Hasu. And I just want to take a second to show you the, the weapons and the attributes uh, for it. So here's the backstory that she has it into an epic as you can see. And basically, uh, the backstory that doesn't give you any immunity or any HP or anything like that. Basically what the epic is for, it gives you skills, right? So it doesn't give you any immunity, any HP, anything like that. What, the, what it does is it gives you... Um, allows you to use it uh, skills. So if you have a ba uh, epic backstory, you can use the, um, the flame lotus, or if you're tail uh, water, you can use aurora lotus and so on. And um, the water has another skill, but the fire has the breaking touch and so on. Um, yeah, so then the hasu, she has her hasu to plus 12. And I want to give you guys a small introduction to the hasu. In the hasu, you're not allowed to make a damage, so you can't have a minus 1, minus 3, minus 7, minus 5, no damage whatsoever, not allowed. And the other thing is, it cannot have any sockets in it, so you cannot have any gems in that thing. Um, no sockets, it can, you can't make it one socket, you can't make it two socket, you can't put any gems in there. It's just like a crop, right? So in a crop, you don't expect to have any gems in it, right? So the same thing with uh, the, um, the hostel, no gems, no sockets, nothing like that. But what you can have in the hostel is, it has Dragon Souls, of course. Um, here she has um, CC on her account, she has a P7 Dragon Soul, and she actually permed it, which is awesome, within the first day. And uh, yeah, so they do have Dragon Souls, and they also have Refineries. And the Refineries, um, just like the Headgear HP, but they don't give as much HP. Uh, level 6 intensification gives you 800 HP, so it's pretty damn high. And then um, when you have a P7 in there, you expect to get 8 immunity from it, and you expect to get uh, 3,800 HP, which is pretty damn high. And then she gets an extra 300-500 HP uh, for having a plus 12 uh, Hasu, which is pretty damn amazing. And she's got, look at her HP guys, she, she has um, 64,000 and a half, so just call it 65,000 uh, HP, nobody will kill this girl, one hit, you can pull your ass off, so pretty awesome. And look at her immunity with no aura, she has an aura under her, she has 201, um, uh, 0.7 surrounded, so 202 immunity, which is pretty damn amazing if you ask me. So she's got high ass HP, she's got high ass immunity, um, she's got pretty good damage. Um, which is very impressive, so pretty damn awesome. If you check without the Hasu, you take the Hasu out, it's almost like 8, 8k decrease in HP. When you put back the Hasu, it's uh, like an extra 8,000, 8,000 and a half roughly, so it's pretty damn awesome. Now next is let's check out the gameplay of the tail. Alright guys, let's not waste any more time and let's check out the skills. So Epic got uh, Tail Fire, has two skills, Flame Lotus, and the Breaking Touch. So let's check him out, let's get people started, and uh, let's see this. Let's test this guy. There's a lotus, it's on the ground. Let's see who, how who's gonna hit. Four seconds, three, two. Whoa! Are you kidding me? Did you guys see that? Problem is the cooldown. Can you see the cooldown, guys? Way too long. I can't wait that long. Way too long. The cooldown is way, way too long. I cannot wait that long whatsoever. Gotta lower the volume. The, um, if you guys see the cooldown for that, that skill is crazy as hell. Um, painless, she's a full plus 12 water, uh, basically, and she got one hit by the, the flame daughter, so that attacks hard as hell. But my concern is, that guy's good. But my concern is, why um, why does it take so long to cool down? 
it's over it's around two minutes cooldown I can't wait that long for it that's the only um, downside that I have with it I'm gonna go buy some HP and uh, we'll come back alright so we got HP and now we're back right here and um, so after the cooldown is done now you gotta wait for all the Lotus to charge up so not only do you have to wait for the cooldown to use it again you also have to wait until they're charged up so I'm just sitting here right it cools down by itself right so wait for it um, so right now see how they're changing they, they have to all become like a big uh, Lotus ball so you have to wait for them to charge so way too long the cooldown is way too long. I cannot hit that long whatsoever. So right now there's an enemy on me. And I'm trying to fight off the enemy. Or, or like, imagine those guys are as enemy. And I can't use the Lotus. I can't use anything. So what's special about it? The skills are really lacking. Um, I, I love I love the Hasu. I'm a big fan of it. But what I'm not a big fan of... It's really hard to talk and play at the same time. But what I'm, what I'm not a big fan of is the Lotus. I have to wait for them to charge up. I have to wait for them to all uh, way too long I cannot wait that long ouch 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 I cannot pot off 2 ninjas no way in hell ouch I got double changed by 2 guys not the assassin too not the assassin no shit 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 I'm gonna die jump damn it he physical me and the assassin was freezing me. But nevertheless, this like uh, two epic ninjas and like all those guys are trying to kill the fire and they had a hard time. So that's the Hasu right there. The Hasu is doing some great stuff. The immunity is helping not get crit. The HP is helping so much. What I'm not a big fan of is the backsword, epic backsword. Uh, the skills are really lacking, right? So um, I don't see why. Why would people why would people pay the extra money to get the the, the epic weapon when the skills are so lacking? Um, honestly I don't know, but um, I'm really disappointed by the skill. I love the Hasu, but I'm really disappointed by the skills from the epic weapon. Um, they should be much better than that. So I've been playing here for a few minutes on this account, on CC's account, uh, to get a feel of how it is. And I can't get over the jump. The jump feels so weird. Like, you're jumping, hopping. It kind of feels different, weird. But I don't think it's anything to be worried about. You're going to get used to it if you're an epic. Uh, if you play on it, like, within a week, two weeks, you're going to get used to it. It's going to feel like a normal jump to you, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, yeah, so not big of a problem really. So right now we're going to the Banshee, see if there's any enemy uh, to test um, the, the epic fire and the epic waters. So let's go and check out, see if there's any enemy to get revived. Uh, there are some enemy. Let's kill some enemies. A bunch of them are dead. Special pills, gotta have special three of them actually. So, um, five minutes now, and I still can't use the loader, so I have used it pretty much two times in like ten minutes. So, it's really lacking there. Uh, let's pick out this guy for a bit. Alright, the flame lotus, I can use it. Let's see what he's gonna do to it. Let's use it on him. Yeah, he's not gonna come here. He's gonna run away. He's hitting it. He's trying to get, disturb it. Yeah, he ran away. See what he did? He ran away. No one's here now. And it just went to waste. So that's what people are gonna do. They're gonna keep running away from it. They're not stupid. Just like I thought. Time to get back to Guild War. Alright, so um, she's been waiting um, CC's on this water. She's been trying to revive those guys. Uh, but it takes way too long for the Lotus on the water as well. So it's an issue for the two classes. Uh, the Lotus takes way too long. Like 5 minutes, 6 minutes to charge up and to release. And way too long. So for example, like a skill PK match, a team PK match. You're going to have like... In a team PK, skill PK match, you got like 10 minutes. So... Uh, if you don't die and stuff like that, if once you die, you get killed, then it's gonna have to recharge all over again. So, um, it's gonna take a long, long ass time. So in a match, you might be able to use it one time, two times maximum. Uh, she used it right there. 
Uh, for some reason we can't disturb it. I think it's broken or something. <laughs> that's, that's an issue. R awesome. So she did revive all of them. She revived all those four guys. And to revive those guys, they have to be on your team. If they're not on your team, you can't revive them. So it's team-based. Uh, all those guys were dead, and she tried to do the Lotus, and it wouldn't revive. They didn't do anything. So we said, okay, let's try something new. Let's let's join them inside the team. So CC jo uh, joined them in the team, and then she tried it right now, like you guys saw, and they all got revived because they're all on her team. So this is team-based, so they have to be on your team to revive them. So let's say you're in Guild War, beside the pole, where you use this uh, skill, the... Um, our Lotus, it's only going to revive your teammates, so it's not your friends or ally, only your teammates. So four people can get revived by it. So, yeah. Alright guys, to finish off the video, we're going to do some PKing right now, uh, to showcase the epic fire. I'm going to use every skill, fog, I'm going to use the um, flame Lotus, I'm going to use everything uh, that I have here uh, to showcase it. Uh, let's just see who our opponent's going to be. Uh, he's got 40k attack, he's got a uh, nice critical, nice immunity. So, 40k attack, 40k and a half, so that's pretty damn high. Uh, let's do this, let's have some fun. Volume's a bit too high. Alright, let's do this. I'm about to throw the, the thing right now in a second. Alright, we got it, let's throw it down there. Ouch. Let's try fogging him. He's trying to kill the Lotus. See the cooldown? I can't use it again. So the only thing that's gonna help me right now... Ouch. Ouch. Nice chains, man. Let's try fogging him again. He's fog. He's fucking back. He got me as well. Ouch. That's a flame torch right there. Let's fog him again. Or watermelon him. <laughs> I'm running out of a tree here. Yeah, I'm out of a tree. Let's use this. Yeah, I'm gonna die. No HP. <laughs> no HP. Run, run. I made it out alive. Awesome. Let's buy some HP and get back into action. Alright, so let's do this quickly. Got some HP. So, much speed. so we've been playing for about 2 minutes now and uh, the thing is still charging up as you can see. So it takes way too long. But I'm really impressed by the, the, uh, the breaking touch. It does help a lot. So that's a very useful skill. I love it. It does help dramatically. Back. I think he's got some HP now. Let's fog him. He's gonna fog me back, bro. Ah, oh, miss. The fog was a miss. Let's do it again. Wait for a good jump. Okay. We got each other. Both. Ouch. Almost died. But the HP is helping a lot. The, I'm really impressed by the hustle. HP is amazing. I can just spot off all day that the, the, it's just got so much HP. It's got almost 45k HP, so it's it's really easy to pot off right now. Alright, so the Hasu is out, we can use it. The Hasu, I mean the, the Lotus. He's trying to disturb it, can he do it? Uh, no he does not. Attack, 
he got away from it, so it did not hit him. But it did kill the, uh, the water, the epic water. Ouch. No HP? Yeah, I'm gonna die, no HP. He got me, no HP at all. Uh, so this was actually pretty damn awesome. Uh, so the epic is pretty damn sick. Um, honestly, I'm not a big fan of the epic, but I'm a big fan of the hoss. So I think the hoss was tremendous and helps so freaking much. Uh, the epic would be awesome if the skills were, if the countdown, the countdown was way too long. And there's also another issue, the, the epic uh, water, lotus, you cannot disturb it. The, what do you call it, the aurora lotus, you cannot disturb it. So once uh, the person casts it, you can't hit it. There's a bug there, so the GM should definitely check that out. So uh, there's a problem with that one. But the fire lotus, um, everything's working fine. But um, I just, the, the countdown is way too long. The countdown is way, way too long. Um, every five minutes you can use it one time. And that's just way too long. It should be like every minute, two minutes, something like that, about five minutes. It's way too long. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all my thoughts on this. Uh, thank you, CC, so much for letting me use your account to do this awesome video. Thank you. And uh, please, guys, in the comment section, say thank you, CC. Thank her. Uh, without her, I wouldn't uh, have done this video. So please just uh, say thank you in the comment section. Also, in the comment section, if you have any questions, anything that I haven't answered, please do ask in the bottom in the comment section. Um, are you disappointed with the skills that you see? Are you, dis are, you, um, are you happy about the skills or are you disappointed? Let us know in the comment section. Uh, below what you think about it and also um, I'm pretty sure I answered most of your questions you guys have seen uh, the two epics how they look like what they do their attributes um, the HP they give you the immunity they give you um, all that stuff you guys saw the skills you guys saw the two fire skills um, Teo epic skills you saw one of the water epic the, the Aurora Lotus that revives people uh, there's another skill that I guess I haven't seen the other skill I can describe it for you real, real quick basically when you revive um, When you revive somebody there's a chance when you revive them they get shield Accuracy and stigma right away without you having to do it. Do you really need that? No, but it would be nice to have it would be useful It's almost like a it's basically like how can I give you a It's like a mercedes-benz, right? Like do you need a mercedes-benz like an awesome car? Uh, no, you don't need it. You can just get a normal car. You can drive and it will do the job But it will be nice to have a Mercedes-Benz because it's an awesome car, right? Same thing with this Do you need do you need uh, to have? Um, the epic to to revive to revive and uh, Automatically have stigma and shield and stuff. No, you can just revive the person give them stay give them shield But if you do have it, it would be nice to have so you don't need it uh, You probably want it, but you don't need it. So it's uh, uh, So yeah, um, I hope you answered most of your question guys. Um, so yeah, like always have an awesome day. Please do comment in the section below. And yeah, thank you guys so much. And like always have an awesome day. Take care.